Um, my name is Clara Gillens of Romaselli. I am the executive director for the Roosevelt Community Revitalization Group, but I'm also the secretary to the Roosevelt Fire District Board of Fire Commissioners. I wish to congratulate our newest elected fire commissioner. Her name is Pamela Williams. She's the first elected female to the Roosevelt Board of Fire Commissioners. Uh, Ms. Williams is also uh, has been in the department for some years. She's been uh, an e emergency medical technician and she has been with the emergency company in the fire district for some time now. Again, I want to thank you for acknowledging her service to the Roosevelt community and I wish her all the best. Hello everyone, this is Dr. Solomon, Barbara Solomon. I am the principal of Centennial Avenue School. I am very proud to uh, say a few words about Pamela Williams. She is a teacher assistant here at our elementary school and she is a caring person and very dedicated to our children and the education of the whole child. Uh, there are not enough words to express to you my appreciation for the work that Pam does here at our school. It is more than a teacher's assistant. She is a family member. She is their mother. She is their friend. Uh, every need uh, that the child uh, is expecting, she steps to the plate and she provides for that child. She is very much involved with education of the whole child. And we thank her so very, very much for her contribution to our educational pursuits. Pamela, congratulations. We appreciate you. Sandra, this is Nadine. I could not be happier to talk about someone who I respect as much as you. When I think about Women's History Month, you exemplify all of the elegance, eloquence, and concern, and hard work for all of the children you fight for in your community. Sandra, you deserve this honor more than anyone that could come to mind because not only have you lived in the community you fight for, but you have provided services through the youth organizations as well as provided wonderful empowerment opportunities for kids with your brother. I am so, so proud of you. No one is more deserving. I'm hoping that I can see you on Saturday, but if I can't, mwah, congratulations. Hello, my name is Deandra Hurd, and I'm privileged to be here to see my mother, Bettina Hurd, being honored. She exemplifies what extraordinary really is. The love she gives to everyone is irreplaceable. The love that shines from her aura is remarkable. Because of her giving spirit, she is not to be replaced. Thank you for seeing and honoring what we have all seen throughout our whole lives. The spirit that always gives and never acts. It is not too often that we are blessed to honor a woman who exemplifies the meaning of the words patient, kind, and loving. But Tina Heard, you are heaven sent. You have touched the lives of all those that you've come in contact with. Your love is everlasting, full of passion, and your heart is pure. You have fed the hungry, clothed the naked, sheltered those in need, and always had an encouraging word for those who have been discouraged. Thank you for always supporting your family, your friends, your church, and your community. Bettina Heard, mother, we salute you. My name is Tanya Herring and I approve this message. Hello, I'm Marie Schroeder. I'm a former administrator from the Freeport Public Schools, specifically Freeport High School. I've known Carmen for over 16 years. Carmen came in as an advocate into my office one day to 
really support one of her students. And since then, I've loved her. I've loved her so much, I adopted her as my daughter. Carmen is an incredible young woman, and I'm so proud of her. I can't begin to tell you what a delightful human being this woman is. During Superstorm Sandy, Carmen drove her car around to find out if anyone in the Freeport area needed help. She came specifically to my house. We had visitors from Denmark. She cooked and brought food for us as well as for our visitors. Our visitors were very, very impressed with her. She's a delightful young woman. She's kind, she's helpful, she's civic-minded, and most of all, Carmen is very selfless. She works on behalf of her community. She wants to see a better world. She wants to support the causes of women and help women progress. For this reason, C Carmen, I congratulate you, and I let you know that I love you today, I loved you then, I will love you always. Congratulations. I've had the pleasure of working with Wilhelmina for the last 10 years. She has proven to be a resilient fighter, one who has stood for her community, and her commitment to her community has never wa wavered. She has shown compassion, understanding, and truly has been a great mentor for me. I could only hope to one day be as much of an activist as Wilhelmina. I'm so proud of her. She has grown to be such a great teammate. She's a wonderful teammate and a truly honorable friend. Congratulations, Will, you deserve this. My name is Mary Adams and I have been a resident of Roosevelt since 1966 and on the board of the library since 1996. It's been a journey from the little library that we had over by the school to where we are today. We're very proud. Hello, I'm Beverly T. Landers from Roosevelt Public Library. I've been working here for 23 years. I started out as a children's librarian working here for 17 years, and now I'm an adult reference librarian. I'm going to speak about Ms. Satella Haynes. She has been working here for 40 plus years, and she is now head of her department. She started out as a page, um, working at Roosevelt Public Library when it was a very, very small library. Ms. Haynes is head of her department in technical services and circulation. She's a wonderful person to work with and she's a wonderful person to work for and I love her a lot. Hi, my name is Ava Jackson. I work at the Roosevelt Public Library. I've been there close to 30 years. I'm here to talk about Satella Haynes. She is a wonderful supervisor. Uh, she definitely should be honored for the women's history because she has been at the library for over 40 years and she's a hard working young woman. And I say young because uh, she still looks like she did when she first started. Um, she's wonderful to work with. She's um, very uh, cooperative. She's very um, understanding. Um, you're not going to get a better supervisor than uh, Miss Haynes. She is just a, a jewel to work with. Uh, and we love her here. Thank you. <laughs> 